Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I am so sorry for my recent inactivity. I've been having a little bit of a health issue recently. I'm sure you guys all understand, but again, I am sorry and I will be producing some more videos very, very soon. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. We'll be training some horses at a local farm. This location is known as Whispering Wisteria and holds three horses for us to train plus a very cute mother and foal pair that we can walk to the pasture. Let's get started by showing a list of things to do. Today's to-do list, we have quite a few tasks. Firstly, we have to feed the chickens and check on the rabbits. Then we can get started training the three horses, Opal, Piglet, and Daffodil. All three need to be exercised, so let's get right to it. I just wanted to say really quickly that this property is available for members only for free to download, so if you'd like to experience this in your own world and in your own way, then consider becoming a member and supporting my channel for more free barns. One, two, three, four. No sleep, my veins run dry, I'm empty. I can't see, I'm blinded by this concrete and I should call you see what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me here I am alone without you Was unusually warm and I was expecting a little bit of colder weather seeing as we're just getting out of winter. The chickens are on the far side of the property so I had to make quite the trek over to the coop. After collecting the eggs it's time to feed. Honestly I just throw down seeds and watch them fight over the feed and then walk away. It's a very simple task and it does entertain me for a moment. The rabbits already have their feed so I just watch them for a while. Sometimes I just zone out, you know? Rabbits were cute, but it was time to begin my riding schedule. First to be tacked up was Opal. Opal is the racehorse on the property, and exercising her today will probably be the most fun out of everything. After grooming her down, I walked Opal out to the track and started walking her. I do one lap walking, and then I speed it up to a trot, and I keep her at trot for a while. This gives her time to warm up and also time for her muscles to get used to the pace. Then I let Opal decide when she wants to go faster. Usually she's pulling at the bit and ready, so I let her up to the speed she wants, which is usually either an extended canter or a full out gallop. Everyone's taking their shot, but missing out on the cut. I think she knows that she drives some crazy when she's looking like that. The way she's moving makes them want it so bad. It's the attention that we wish that we had. It's almost cruel, cause I want her to. Oh, yeah, I'm running in circles just to make her react. My heart is racing, yeah, I want her so bad. I wanna kiss her, but I know for a fact that she's way too cool. But I want her to. Oh, yeah. After Opal's exercise, I release her into the pasture for some fresh air, and I'm on to my next horse. Piglet. Listen, I'm gonna say right now, Piglet was an adventure. I have some choice words about Piglet, but since I have to keep this video family friendly, I will only say that he is a very stubborn horse. I was pretty confused when I saw Pink Tack because usually I only see Pink Tack with mares. By the stall, it says Pretty Princess. Understandable. Have a nice day. Piglet requires to be lunged. The owner says it's because it releases his excess energy, but I think the true reason is because it releases Piglet's demons. <laughs> I keep him in there for a while because you can never be too safe with getting rid of that excess energy. Piglet is a jumper stallion, so off to the jumping arena we went. Today. Oh, day 
Piglet did fairly well today. We won't talk about how he almost put me into an early grave. Last horse is Daffodil. Let's be honest, there's always that one horse at the barn that could do no harm. Not only could they not hurt a feather, a feather could probably hurt them. Daffodil is one of those horses that just radiates less than horse, minus the questionable confirmation. She's a flat horse, but I thought I'd bring her on a nice walk around the property before heading to the arena. Don't wanna be shy. After Daffodil once again impresses me with how calm a horse can actually be, I will not be naming names, Piglet, I placed her in the pasture with Opal and headed back to the barn. Now it was time to bring the mama horse with her foal to the pasture. This is Yukon and her colt eagle. She's been turned out a few times before, and she is due for a good pasture day with her foal. Reports say she waits for her foal to fall asleep in the sun and runs to graze. Honestly, I can't blame her after I saw how Eagle is constantly on her tail. Piglet was brought out to the pasture, and thankfully for him, there were no stallions in the pasture. An open field, no souls to claim today for him. Poor Piglet. Now that the barn was empty, it was time for me to clean the stalls. All the stalls were fairly easy, but piglets, we won't talk about piglets. Listen, respect for piglet, he does eat quite a lot. Then the tack is to be organized once again, and I place the jumps back in the equipment room. After a long day of training, all is well at Whispering Wisteria, and my work here is done. It's time for me to go relax with the horses and enjoy the setting sun. Oh, oh, that was not... <laughs> Wait. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh lord. Oh. I just got video bombed by a cow. <laughs> he just mooed perfectly too. There's balls in the sky. Hold on. Huh? There's balls in the sky. <laughs> huh? There's balls in the sky. There's balls in the sky? Cool. What the heck are these? <laughs> Swim time. That's so majestic. Wait, why is that kind of scary? Did you just... There's a sheep on your back. Oh, oh my oh. God. Not the tornado. <laughs> oh my lord, stop. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, is it now attached to the other horse? Oh, is it? <laughs> Our baby got stolen now. <laughs> oh my gosh, she she grew arms. I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now the foal will be in the right placement, right? Gosh dang it. <laughs> 